how's it going everybody welcome back to the ranch here uh, so today it decided to be really weird with the weather so we're uh, I'm actually home today I didn't I have a certain truck that doesn't have reverse so I tried to turn around on a grid road in the middle of a blizzard and ended up putting the back end of my truck in the ditch uh, so today I'm home doing chores really early uh, I got Quinn, my partner in crime, with me today. She's already uh, helped with uh, breaking the water holes open there. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. There's a video on how we're doing that. Um, so we're just going out to the field right now. It's actually raining. It's January in Saskatchewan. I wouldn't say quite northern Saskatchewan, but north enough that it shouldn't be raining. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to change the oil on this uh, our chore tractor. Uh, as soon as we're done doing chores. So we'll stay tuned for that and there'll be uh, a video on how to change the oil in a John Deere tractor. Welcome everybody. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the ranch here. Uh, impromptu shop day. So we're, we've been waiting to have a break to do some service on this tractor. So we're gonna do the oil change today. Uh, you're gonna need an inch and a quarter. Uh, I use a box end wrench so I can get two on there if I need to. Uh, you're going to need obviously a funnel, a pail, and whatever oil you're going to replace it with. So you're also going to need the AR43634, which is the uh, part number for John Deere's filter. Napa, like we're in Canada here, obviously. Uh, Napa has uh, comparable stuff price-wise, usually better. Uh, right now, all the tractors I have, like that are here right now, are using uh, <coughs> fuel filters from uh, Napa. So I think they're about half the price. So do with it what you will. Uh, all right, stay tuned, and uh, we'll get through it here. I'm gonna pop back on here and show you the real scientific uh, pale heating method we're using here because I don't want to put really cold oil in my really warm tractor right now. All right, so we got the oil dropped. Uh, we got the plug out, which is where that filter is. Uh, that's uh, that's your refill plug I'm talking about. The like To check your actual oil is in, in here, right below your uh, oil filter housing. So right below your oil filter housing here, You'll see a little plug here. That's for uh, you spin that out, loosen it off, pull it out. That's your dipstick for checking oil. Uh, here's your filter. Uh, inside of this housing, you're going to get a new filter uh, seal. Just change it. I mean, it comes with it. It's free anyway. Well, it's not free, but you know what I'm saying. But uh, so this one here is, doesn't have much for uh, wear on it, but you can definitely tell it's been under some pressure. Uh, so just replace it. It comes with the filter. It's been on the new one there and uh, I just let everything just settle for a minute while I'm warming up the oil and because I want to put that stuff in warm, reasonably warm, uh, so that when I start the tractor I get oil pressure right away because it's very, it's not impossible but it's tougher to do on this tractor because the filter is mounted uh, horizontally instead of vertically and it just makes it a pain to prime. So uh, usually you fire it up you'll get oil pressure right away as long as your oil is warm. So. Just stay tuned and we'll throw that in and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're topped up here and we're just going to fire it up here and make sure we get some pressure right away. Uh, so this is what you should hopefully see.
Now we know that there's uh, fluid going through the whole system. So now we'll just finish topping it off. Uh, we should be good to go now and catch us again next time.